And so you'll see a lot of different or hear a lot of different diverse things. And as Shane said, oftentimes this isn't the part of the story that if you pick the paper up, you're likely to hear about. So we were very, very excited about the fact that you're here. You know, uh, with us today is kind of the beginning of a conversation as Ed and I've been talking. Uh, but as Shane shared, there are stories and reasons and, and understanding. So even as we paint the picture going forward, because the history does ground us, but we also want to use that as a launch pad. So the things that you're seeing today as you're thinking about your studies and, okay, how does what I'm studying fit in with this? You know, what part am I going to play? You know, both here while you're studying, you know, in the U.S. and you have opportunities to come into communities like ours and become a part, you know, of the community. Uh, but then also how do you take the things that you're seeing and learning and take that home, you know, with you and also continue to share with us the things that you discover because every community has different dimensions mm -hmm. and ways and how we got where we are and the assets, you know, that we have available to do the work that we have to do. But this is one of the older lots that we've been farming on. This is three quarters of an acre. Um, to get this much land in one place is not as easy as it seems. Um, these are uh, these are about seven residential lots altogether. But before this was an open field, there were homes here, and there were um, big industrial buildings like the one we see behind us. Actually, this corridor is a mixed-use industrial corridor. This has a very historic um, story as well. Right behind us is the largest food bank in southeastern Michigan, which is called Gleaners Community Food Bank of South, southeastern Michigan. We are very fortunate to be located in such close proximity to Gleaners uh, because they're one of our community partners. The reason why we love them so much is because we're actually farming on their land. So we see agriculture and growing food as a way of building relationships and partnerships. In actuality, a lot of folks in this community come from the rural south, escaping um, uh, the Jim Crow South after uh, Reconstruction, after the Civil War, after uh, slavery. So they brought with them extensive history and knowledge around growing food. Um, people were actually cultivated because of what they knew how to grow. Actually, some of us have blue jeans on, and the people that were brought here through enslavement were known for growing indigo, and there were the dyes that became the color for our blue jeans. And so there is a long, extensive history around agricultural knowledge and what people possess here, here in this community. They came up here from places like Mississippi, Tennessee, and other places down south. And so if you stay here long enough, you uncover that there's a great wealth around growing food here in the community and it didn't just start.